Good morning. You're welcome back to New Day. I'm joined in the studios by some very, very, very celebrated people. Um, uh, members of um, the 2019 cohort of the Mandela Washington Fellowship Award. You're all welcome. I have here Alfred Okanse, who is a news anchor at TV3, Hamza Isuma, a medical doctor uh, in Kumasi, and also the president of the 2019 Fellows, um, Elslund Ewuji Simpson, Elsland, pardon me, Ewuji Simpson, business expert in grocery delivery, and Juanita Ado. Um, you're welcome. Thank you. How so are you all doing? We're fine. We're doing Fantastic. Well. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I'll take it from Juanita. <laughs> um, what was your experience like um, at the Mandela Washington Fellowship? It was it was a very very beautiful experience. Mm. One that I would encourage um, everyone mm. to have. It was mind blowing. Mm. It was it was a mind especially in the fact that you get access to a system that mm. works, mm. a system that does what it says it's going mm. to do, and it does that very, very well. So it was it was very different okay. as compared to some of the things that we are used to here. Used to here. Mm. All right, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say, what exactly is the Mandela um, Washington Foundation? Okay, so um, good morning to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, in 2014, mm -hmm. it was launched as a as part of what we call the Young African Leaders Initiative. Mm. So in summary, just has three arms. We have the uh, Yali Network, okay. and then we have the Leadership Centers, and okay. then we have the Mandela Washington Fellowship. Okay. So the Mandela Washington Fellowship is actually the flagship program okay. of the Young African Leaders Initiative. Mm. And it's held every year mm. for a period of six weeks okay. in America. Right. So we have uh, people in leadership positions in various fields, uh, public management, mm -hmm. civic engagement, and then we have people in the field of uh, business or entrepreneurship okay. who are selected and taken to certain institutions mm -hmm. where they can undergo training. Mm -hmm. One of the basic training we all go through, regardless of the track you, go, you, you pick up, mm -hmm. is the common leadership curriculum. Where, because we are all in leadership positions, mm -hmm. we are trained proper leadership skills. Okay. That's why she said we are put into a system that really mm -hmm. works. works. And then you are put into situations that you have to figure out as a leader. Mm -hmm. And you are put through training that you need to have as a leader. Mm -hmm. That being said, um, getting that basic training, mm -hmm. we all have aspects that we go through. I was into the entrepreneurship. Okay. So I had the opportunity to learn how to develop business ideas okay. to talk to the American businessman, to talk to an investor, mm. to network, mm. to um, uh, actually expand my network, how to sustain my business, okay. sort of. So you go through a lot of training. Mm. They teach you how to be productive okay. in a more practical way. So it's a practical on hand training okay. that is held for six weeks okay. at the institute. Okay. And then following that, you do a week okay. of a summit wow. where you have about 700 African leaders. Mm. So we were 33 from Ghana. Okay. We had other uh, leaders from other parts of uh, Africa. Africa that came in. So we were 700 in all. So we all met in Washington mm. for what you call the summit. the summit. So it was a three-day summit. Yeah. And a lot of networking went on there too. Okay. A lot of learning went on mm. and everything. But in the institute, just to add up, we have academic coursework. Okay. So you go for lectures like students, you or learn. For the six weeks. For the six weeks, you okay. learn. You do what you call side visits. Okay. So whatever is related to your line of business or line of uh, expertise, yeah. you have to do those uh, you have to go to sites that are related to okay. that. And then the networking is the most important part of it, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. I had never met Alfred before. Mm. I had never met <laughs> before. I had never met uh, Juanita before. Mm. So we met for the first time in Ghana, mm. actually, before we, when we were doing our pre-departure orientation. Yeah. And uh, we got to know each other, got to know what everybody does and how we can help each, each other, other out, how okay. to encourage each other to become better. Mm. And then we went on to meet other African leaders. Leaders in my institute, well. I was the only Ghanaian. Oh, okay. So I met <laughs> people from 19 different African countries doing different things, things. engineering, yeah. others also into healthcare, just yeah. like I am. So we had a lot of people to meet. Mm. And then finally, we met all 700. Mm -hmm. You can imagine 700 people yeah. in one hotel. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> um, a lot of, a lot of chaos, yeah. a lot of fun, yeah, exactly. and a lot to learn. So yeah. yes, basically in a nutshell, that's what that's the whole what experience was okay. about. So, um, Elsland, um, what, what was the selection process like for you? 
So um, there's an, uh, an application opens, mm -hmm. which has been open now for the 2020 Mandela Washington mm -hmm. Fellowship. So um, when the application opens, you, you're given about a month to apply. Mm -hmm. And then after that, there's the um, semi-final stage yeah. where you go through an interview mm -hmm. if you are selected. Yeah. And then after that, then the final selection comes in. Mm -hmm. um, that will be around March yeah. next year. And then after that um, selection, mm -hmm. you go through pre-departure orientation, okay. and then you leave Ghana okay. for the U.S. So mm -hmm. what, what did it take on your part, you know, the whole selection process? I want your personal experience. <laughs> so my experience is I was introduced by someone who okay. saw the work I've been doing mm. and said, I think you're doing so well. Mm. You should go and learn more. Okay. It's always good to learn, to add up. And mm -hmm. then like um, Wanita said, a system that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? In fact, um, when you go and you come back, you realize that hmm, there's a lot, a lot to, to be, be done, done here. So mm. yeah, um, I applied. I, at first I felt I was... I was not there yeah. yet, you know. Sometimes you feel that way. I know there's someone out there who is thinking, hey, Mandela Washington Fellowship is too high for me. Mm. I thought um, an Abubuloshi girl mm. can't go to America yeah. so soon, you know. But then I applied, um, I went through the process. It's a very cumbersome, like it takes time. Mm. You re and then you need to be sincere. You need to tell what you're doing. Mm. You don't have to fake it. Yeah. So my experience, I was sincere. Mm -hmm. I said what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't add up anything that, <laughs> yes, mm. I was just real. Yourself. And yeah. then um, I applied. I, I procrastinated a lot. Okay. But then I'll tell anyone who is interested not to. Mm. I submitted my application like five minutes before deadline. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. That's serious. Yeah. That's very serious. But then I won't advise anyone to do that. Mm. So um, I, I, the process was very interesting. Yeah. It actually made me identify myself oh, okay. even during the application process because mm. you realize that there was a, a part like... Um, which, which was talking about how you've solved a problem, mm. what you, what happened, how did you solve it? Mm. And then I re that was when I actually noticed, oh, I'm really solving a problem. Yeah. And I've, I've actually grown from yeah. how I started my business. This so amazing. yes, it's, it's a very good experience. Okay. Even if you apply mm. and you don't, you're not selected. Yeah. I, I believe that there's a lot, there's the, yeah, there's a yearly RLC also. Yeah. Like there's a lot of, you can actually join the network yeah. whether okay. you are a fellow or not. Or not. Yes, okay. you get to learn a Interesting. Lot. Alfred, I'm coming to you now. <laughs> I understand you did a lot of traveling around, moving around. Well, I think all of us did. Oh, okay. Um, it, it, was, it was part of the whole plan to have us experience the U.S., mm. experience the structures, experience the systems. Mm. And I think that the, the chorus runs through all of us mm. that, we, we experience a system that works. Mm. I mean, it, that's not to say that we are downgrading the system that we have here, but I mean, the reality is there for all of us to see. So we are not the ones making up anything. Yeah. I mean, the, <laughs> the most important thing is that we are back okay. and and the, it's incumbent on us to actually apply yeah. whatever we learned there. I mean, that's yeah. the essence of this whole fellowship. Yeah. You, the U.S. State Department, mm -hmm. in fact, the U.S. government through the U.S. State Department and IREX okay. funds this whole you know fellowship. Yeah. And you don't pay a dime. Mm. You just pack your stuff and probably even <laughs> yeah. go with an em empty, you know, empty suitcase, suitcase yeah. and come back with a field one. Because yeah. obviously, <laughs> when you go, you 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 will be, you know, taken care taken of very care well. Of. You yeah. know, we 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 were attached to all of us. We are attached to um, institutions. Mm. In fact, all 700 of us from 48 African countries. Yeah were spread across 28 states oh, in the wow, U.S. 58. So I was in Wisconsin, Madison. She was in Lehigh University. Lehigh, okay. Oklahoma, State Oklahoma State University. Oklahoma State University. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, you know, so it, it was more like just for us to not necessarily be in one place, in one but place. have that experience. experience. But even though when specific states, mm. there were travel experiences that my president talked about um, that made us go to other places. Mm. So okay. from Wisconsin, I moved to Chicago. Mm. We had experiences in Washington, D.C. Mm. and some other places as well that if you're able to find your way out. And there was actually one day, a day reserved for us to tour the yeah. U.S. <laughs> Anywhere you want to go, just, yeah. just, just, just go. go yeah. you know? So it, it, indeed, for me, I think the takeaway that all of us would agree <laughs> with is that mm. it models you, it yeah. shapes you, it yeah. gives you a new perspective of leadership, of life, and also of volunteerism. Because okay. one of the things that we did okay. was that every week, in fact, a day in a week, mm. we did volunteer work. Okay. You know, where we go to certain institutions, if it's a dining hall, we go and serve. Yeah. I was in, in an autism, you know, encouragement center. 
center yeah. where you know kids with with autism and down syndrome mm -hmm. that's where i used to teach okay. you know so and that's what we all of us here are hoping we bring back and okay. encourage young Ghanaians to yes. actually volunteer yeah. and okay. it feeds into patriotism okay. extremely important right? amazing so not just to join the the fellowship but to actually take advantage of where they are right now to help other people in society sure. absolutely amazing thank you so much alfredo kanse hamza uh, suma elsland Iwuji Simpson and Juanita Ado for joining us. We've been having uh, a discussion on the Mandela Washington uh, Fellowship Award. Uh, I think we've had a really good one, and awesome. I'm actually uh, encouraged to actually join. You should. Sure. Maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah. so. They are open, exactly. Yeah, so applications are open. Hopefully, I'll see you there next year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>